This obviously wasn't a budget with lots of money to spend, but having said that, what the Chancellor did was to use a number of small amounts of money here and there and a number of targeted changes to the tax system to give the impression that something is going on. But I think if we look at it as a whole, it's not a, a radical departure, and certainly nothing in it that wasn't expected, and it's not a great uh, budget for change. There simply isn't the money for that kind of thing. He's certainly got a lot of things to keep in the air. He needs to convince the City of London that uh, the government's borrowing is going to come down fast enough in order to stop adding to debt. He needs to convince his party and the electorate that there is something to look forward to and that the economy can be kindled back into growth. And there's a certain amount of measures in the budget that are it's kind of the outlines of an industrial policy, an attempt to change and shift the emphasis within uh, the economy and indeed within universities. But again, it's not going radically to alter the way the economy or the public finances function. It's a sort of slight tilt here and a tilt there, slight increase in higher taxes for some people, but overall not a radical change. If you look at the public finance elements of all of this, um, what he said today is that there will be extra spending here and there and that the cuts that are expected will take place. But again, no detail at all. The Treasury is going to produce slightly more information about what the Chancellor calls efficiencies, but this is a long way from department by department spending figures four years ahead. So uh, we're still in, there's still an enormous uncertainty about the future of public spending department by department and service by service. The opposition parties will want to say a, there's nothing new here, B, they've stolen all our, all our ideas, and uh, C, uh, nothing is being said about the future of how we're going to get the deficit down and get the economy back into shape.